The heart is considered the yin organ and is known as the emperor uh, because it uh, controls the function of all the other organs. The heart houses the spirit or soul and it shows itself in the tongue, in the body of the tongue. Uh, also uh, closer to the, uh, to the front section of the tongue, uh, there's a small section of the tongue, the very tip, uh, which also uh, is displayed in Chinese tongue diagnosis as uh, relating to the heart. Uh, it also can show itself in the complexion of the face. If someone has a lot of acne or something to that effect, uh, it is uh, lots of times a problem with the heart. Emotionally, the heart is responsible for love, joy, peace, and these types of emotion. And of course, these are being the positive aspects of uh, what the heart is in charge of. The negative aspects uh, could be longing, nervousness, hate, guilt, excitement, and cravings. The small intestine is the yang organ of the pair and controls the separation of pure and impure. And not only does that have to do with food, but it also has to do with uh, mental thoughts, uh, separating pure thoughts from impure thoughts. And so someone who has a problem mentally with uh, uh, impure thoughts uh, could have a problem with the small intestine. Also, the small intestine has to do with mental clarity and the power of discernment. Uh, for example, uh, the ability to discern relevant issues from irrelevant issues and then make a, uh, a good statement about it uh, or bring it forth in a, some kind of proposal uh, would be an action of the small intestine. Now we're going to go over the element of metal. And the element of metal uh, concerns the lungs and the large intestine. The lungs being the yin organ and the large intestine being the yang organ. The positive attributes of the lungs uh, as far as affecting uh, emotional and mental are righteousness, dignity, high self-esteem and that type of uh, feeling or emotion. The negative emotional aspects of the lungs are sorrow, grief, sadness, and disappointment. The large intestine is the yang uh, pair for the, the lung. Uh, it's a uh, emotional aspects, it kind of shares with the lungs, uh, the sadness and the grief and, and the sorrow. Uh, but it has its own uh, components as well. For instance, an energetic imbalance uh, in the large intestine can also have uh, emotional aspects to it as well, like a, some kind of physical obstruction in the large intestine can block chi or blood and uh, cause emotional or uh, mental disruptions. These emotions could be discouragement, irritability, uh, distress, and apathy. The next portion is the other fire elements, the triple heater and the pericardium. The triple heater is the yang organ and the pericardium is the yin organ. The triple heater is responsible for uh, energetic removal of waste products. And what I mean by that is it's like a energetic garbage disposal. It also is responsible for uh, controlling uh, uh, metabolism and uh, balance and harmony uh, between uh, organs and meridians.
on an energetic level, the triple heater or using the triple heater for do, doing therapy can help to eliminate depression uh, caused by stagnation uh, from liver chi. Of course, like we said before, the liver is in control of making sure that all the chi flows evenly and smoothly in the body. If this is interrupted, uh, it's a good bet that you can work the triple heater and get the flow going again. Mentally and emotionally, when the triple heater is in balance, uh, you can expect that their mindset will be uh, very kind and of a nurturing type nature, uh, a very kind-hearted type person. And uh, if it's out of balance, of course, the opposite uh, is going to be true. Pericardium is the yin organ of the pair. And the pericardium physically is a sac that surrounds the heart that uh, blocks pathogenic invaders. It's known as the, the uh, guard or em emperor's protector. Mentally and emotionally, uh, the pericardium's job is to uh, create uh, sensations of pleasure or joy uh, for the heart. Uh, 